Today we're going to make another small sauce. We're going to be making alamond sauce. Now alamond sauce has a liaison in it and we're going to show you how to make that liaison and cook that properly in your small sauce. But let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. Again, our leading sauce is from velouté and then we're going to take this velouté and turn it into alamond sauce which is classically known as a German sauce. So I have my velouté ready to go. I have one egg yolk. I have some heavy cream and a little bit of lemon juice. Now when we talk about making liaison, the proper ratio for a liaison is two to three parts cream to one, to one yolk. So it's two to three parts cream to one yolk. So I have that correct ratio right here. So first we're gonna start off with making this by again, we have my pan and it's on a very low heat. We're gonna take, we're going to take our velouté and we're gonna add our velouté right into the pan. We just want to heat our velouté up. We want to bring it to that right consistency. Again, we talk about adjusting our sauces. If it's too thick, we can always add a little more water or stock, preferably stock, if it's, if, if it's too thick. We don't want to thin it out too much, but velouté in general should be a lot looser than a bechamel. It should be a lot thinner in general. So we're a little bit on the thick side. I want to make sure that I turn my heat up just a little bit so I can start getting that to the proper temperature. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit of stock to this just to thin it out just a little bit. And again, I'm bringing it up to temperature. Now, I'm going to incorporate this. Again, I want to try to get as many of those lumps out of that velouté as possible. So I can always come back in with a whisk and whisk out some of these lumps, which is really important. Once it heats up, the majority of those lumps will go away. You don't want to scrape too hard on the bottom, metal on metal. You just want to try to get rid of some of those lumps. Okay, great. So now that I'm going to turn this down to a really, really, really low temperature, we want it just to kind of sit here, maybe simmer or right underneath simmer just a little bit, just to keep it nice and warm. Now, while that's simmering here, and I adjusted it, we're gonna go ahead and put our liaison together. So again, it's two, to, it's two to three parts cream to one part yolk. So I'm gonna add my one yolk, and I'm gonna add my two to three parts cream. Now, I'm gonna take a whisk, and I'm gonna whisk these guys together really, really well. So I'm gonna make this liaison, and again, it's yolk and cream. And this is what's going to thicken our sauce. What's really important about making an alamond sauce is that we can't bring it to 180 degrees. Because if we bring our sauce to 180 degrees, which is a simmering, it will actually break and the eggs will cook and you'll have these scrambled eggs in your sauce, in your alamond sauce, so really important. All right, so I mix those up really, really well. Now at this point, you can see my sauce is simmering. I'm gonna wanna turn this off. I just wanted to bring it up to temperature. My velouté is at the nice consistency that it needs to be. I'm gonna swirl my pan just a little bit to release some of the excess heat into my, from my sauce. So it's not too hot, we definitely do not want to cook our liaison. But now that we have our liaison done, the temperature of our liaison is still cold because the egg yolk was cold and so was the cream. So now we need to temper again. So we're gonna temper our liaison by adding one third of our sauce into here to slowly bring up the temperature, slowly bring up the temperature of the liaison. All right, so let's temper here. Again, I'm gonna add one third of this hot liquid in and I'm gonna mix this just a little bit. So I wanna slowly bring up the temperature without scrambling my eggs. Once I have it incorporated really well, I'm tempering my liaison. I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna add another one third of my ladle into this sauce, or into the liaison, and I'm gonna bring the temperature up. I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'm gonna go three rounds with this. And once we have your liaison tempered properly, we're going to put it back into our sauce. Now, here's the trick, as you can see, I do not have fire on my, on my sauce right now, on my, on my velouté. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave no fire on here. When I add this in, I do not want it to be cooking. But I'm gonna add my liaison that's been tempered back into my sauce. And I'm just going to incorporate this without any fire. I wanna make sure that it incorporates really, really well. Remember, we have raw egg yolk in here. That's gonna be our thickener. And we're gonna bring that back up to where we're gonna make ribbons 
When you see ribbons in your pan is when your sauce is cooked perfectly. So we want to tighten up the sauce and make it a little bit more thicker than it is right now. In order to do that, we're gonna have to turn the heat back on. All right, so now that I've incorporated all the way in with my velouté, it's all mixed in really, really well. I'm gonna come back here with a whisk. Now I'm gonna turn my heat on. So I'm gonna turn my heat and I'm gonna do a very low heat. The sauce is already pretty warm. Don't wanna to go too high. So I'm gonna go very low heat and I'm gonna carefully, I'm going to carefully mix this underneath low heat. Now this is gonna take several minutes to bring the temperature back up. We wanna cook that egg yolk without it scrambling. It's gonna thicken our sauce. So again, I'm on very low heat and I'm gonna continuously mix. I do not walk up, wanna walk away from the sauce. You take the chance of it coming to a simmer and you take a chance of scrambling that yolk. So really important to sit here and constantly mix. Now that I've kind of been working this just a little bit, I'm gonna switch back over to my whisk. It's a little bit easier to see the ribbons with the whisk. I'm gonna turn my heat up just a little bit and I'm not gonna scrape the bottom of the pan really hard. I'm just gonna kind of go over the top here a little bit while I'm shaking the pan back and forth and using my whisk in order to whisk this sauce. And we're gonna continue this process until we start seeing ribbons. So this is gonna be, just be a little patient on this. And again, if it's taking a little too long, you can bring the temperature up if you like, but you gotta constantly work it or you have the chance of it settling and actually scrambling your sauce. So again, checking my heat, it's all about heat control. And I'm slowly gonna bring this up. Now it's okay if it's really low to let it sit for a second to retain some of that heat so we're not cooling it down and then come back in and do a quick little mix. You just have to be careful and you have to be a little patient. So let's take a look here. I got pretty good heat there. I got pretty good heat, I'm happy with that. I just need to work my sauce and I need to make sure that I get it to the point to where I'm starting to see ribbons in my sauce. And it's starting to come up in temperature a little bit. I can tell because it's starting to thicken just a little bit. It's not quite at that ribbon state yet. And when we get there, you'll understand what I mean by ribbons, where it will actually hold a little bit of a shape and form within your sauce is where your ribbon, ribbons wanna be. So I'm gonna let this sit, starting to thicken. I'm gonna give it a second on that heat. Don't go too long again. And again, it's just about being patient and careful. And you can see here that it is really starting to thicken now. So that temperature is coming up. So I'm gonna work my sauce a little bit quicker. Don't wanna scrape as much on the bottom of the pan, just lightly. And we're gonna let this sit again. And you can see, I don't quite have those ribbons yet where it's holding shape, but we're almost there. Again, it's a slow process of checking your heat control. starting to thicken even more. I'm gonna come back now with my spatula so I can get the sides here a little bit. Spatula or whisk will work. It's a little quieter too. And I'm gonna continue working, checking my heat control. I like the level where it's at. It's really starting to come together. It's starting to get thick. And you can see here that I'm almost at that stage where it holds its shape. We're gonna to continue to work this not quite there yet. Let that sit for just a second. You can see it's starting to want to pull ribbons to the side. You see that shape of the ribbons there? So now as it starts to thicken even more, now it looks like I have a couple of lumps from my velouté in my sauce, but we're gonna go ahead and put this through a, a, a fine sieve to make sure that we get those out as well. But now it's really starting to come together. Happy with the heat, check your heat control. Continue to work your sauce. We're almost at the ribbon stage here. And you can see as I pull that sauce to one side, it almost creates puddles and ribbons. We're still not quite, we're still not quite there yet. Almost there. I don't want to take it too far because if we take it over 180 degrees, which is a simmer, it's going to start scrambling my yolk. Almost there. Again, I can push off to the side and I can see those waves of ribbons starting to form. I'm still not thick enough, so I need to go a little bit longer. 
Now the egg yolk is gonna give your sauce a really beautiful richness. You got the cream as well. It's your thickening agent for your sauce. And we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of lemon juice as well, just to give it a little bit of tartness at the end. And again, I'm being patient. I'm still happy with my heat, but I wanna make sure that I start it's thickening up a little bit more and I'm starting to see those. Now the ribbons are starting to get a lot heavier. You see how heavy those ribbons are? So we're still not quite there, almost. And I'm constantly moving the sauce in the pan, really important. Almost there. I pull this and you can start seeing those ribbons a little bit more there. We're just about there. I'm gonna pull it in just a second. I don't wanna to go too hot with it. I don't wanna scramble, but you can see the difference of how nice and thick it is from that egg yolk. We're cooking that liaison and we're making sure to form those nice, beautiful ribbons. And I think I'm right there on the ribbons. You can see the ribbons stay in the sauce. If I come up and drop it, you can see the ribbons. It's almost like dropping ribbons and they keep their shape. So I'm right there at that stage. I'm going to turn it off. I have a very light ribbon, which is nice. It's going to continue to actually cook just a little bit. And then I'm just going to finish it. I'm going to finish it while I'm stirring. I'm just going to give it a little bit of lemon juice. Not too much, just to give it some nice tart tartness at the end. I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to want to taste it. I'm going to want to taste for making sure it's seasoned properly. Ooh, really nice richness from the egg. It does need a little bit more salt, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more salt. It's a little shy on the salt. I don't think I need any more pepper on this one, but I got those nice ribbons. It's beautiful. Now I got this beautiful sauce that's thickened with those beautiful ribbons. And if you guys can see, you can see how beautiful those ribbons are. When you drop it, it keeps its shape. So at this stage, I'm gonna put this through a fine chinois or a sieve. So we're gonna come here with the sauce and we're just gonna take out any of those lumps that may have formed in the sauce which could have been from the velouté, not completely dissolving all the way. And just in case it does collect, it will collect um, the scrambled eggs if you do scramble your sauce, but mind you, it will come through too, so really important. So look at how nice and rich and smooth. And as you can see, as I'm dropping this sauce, pushing it through the sieve, I just wanna make sure I get out any of those lumps or any impurities in the sauce. It's got a nice thickness to it. Let me push this through here and collect it. You are gonna lose a little bit while pushing it through. And you kinda of wanna work a little fast as possible. I'm gonna scrape the bottom of my sieve here to, to get the majority of the sauce. Let me take a cup here and we'll go ahead. And here we have, I'm just gonna pour in this nice, beautiful alaman sauce. And as you see me pour it, you can see those ribbons to where it holds its shape. And it's a little bit of a light ribbon. You could have taken it a little bit further, but I think I like going a little bit light because it continues to cook with the temperature. And you got this nice, beautiful, rich German sauce called Alamond, which is a small sauce.